Although yoga encourages overall health and wellness, and the techniques demonstrated within this program are designed for people of all skill levels, consult your physician before beginning any new exercise program. Hi, welcome to Mind Body. I'm Susan Foxley, a certified life coach and a registered yoga instructor. I help people live healthier, happier lives, and here's the key. Fitness is not just physical. It's also emotional, mental, even spiritual for some people. It's about happiness and health, mind and body. Let's get going. Come on down to your yoga mat, please, and we're going to start on our backs. And this is so yummy for our backs. And today our topic is reap and repeat. So we're going to reap and repeat and always go back to the basics of what makes us feel good on a daily basis. So we're going to go ahead and rest in Shavasana. And we have Ray and Rebecca joining us today. And just go ahead and let go. Ah, relax your eyes and your jaw. Relax your shoulders, your upper arms, your forearms. Relax those fingers. And just go back to feeling the rise and fall of your belly. The expansion and contraction of your ribs and just let go of your legs, your feet and toes. And just drop down. Let go of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whatever time it is, just let go. Go ahead and hug your knees, please. You can open up your eyes and hug your knees. And then go ahead and bring your hands behind your head. And gently bring your right elbow to your left knee and straighten your right leg. And today we're going to go back to the basics. And then left elbow to right knee. And then other side, right elbow to left knee. And you can choose to lower your right leg down to the floor a little lower or a little higher, whatever's always honor your back. Other side, whatever feels good for you. Really nice. And then right elbow to left knee. And then left elbow to right knee. Really nice. Keep going. We're just going to clear and clean our negative thoughts. Keep going. Clear and clean our negative thoughts. Twisting out any negative thoughts. Twisting out our internal organs. We're, we're going back to repeating the basics, clearing and cleaning, planning and planting, witnessing and watching, reaping and repeating. Today we're going to clear and clean our negative thoughts. We're going to plan and plant what we do want by focusing on what we do want. And we're going to witness and watch. It takes time. We have patience. We have to be patient to have our manifestations come true. And then Reap and repeat. Go back to the basics. Go back to the basics. And go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Beautiful. And you'll notice that Ray and Rebecca have their wonderful rubber bands on around their wrists, and so do I, because we're going back to our mental diets. We're going to wear this rubber band for one week, and we're going to go back and snap that rubber band if we complain or gossip or have any negative thoughts or judgments and we're going to go back to erasing and replacing and replacing those negative thoughts with positive thoughts because we know good thoughts go into great feelings and great feelings go into wonderful results. We're going to go ahead and roll to the right side slowly and carefully please. Come on up into child's pose and go ahead and just rest. Let go. And we're going to still stay on our mental diets, focusing on the good. We get to do yoga. We don't have to do yoga. We get to. We get to do our dishes. We don't have to. We get to. We get to do laundry. We get to go to work. We don't have to. It's a privilege. Some of my clients can't do laundry. Some of my clients can't do the dishes. They're handicapped. I work with special needs people, and they can't do their laundry. 
They can't do their dishes. They can't even drive. So today we get to drive. We get to do yoga. We get to stay on our mental diets. Come onto your hands and knees, please. Spread those fingers wide. And we're going to plan and plant what we do want. Go ahead and look up. Plan and plant your knees. Plan and plant your knuckles. Look to your belly. Plan and plant what you do want, which are your thoughts. Your thoughts are seeds in your garden. Look to your belly. And then go ahead and look up. Always breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Look to your belly. Go ahead and look up. And go ahead and look to your belly. Really nice. And then elbows straight, please. We're going to go ahead and just step the right foot forward. And if you need blocks at home, please always honor yourself and use blocks. And then go ahead and you can be on the back of your toes or on the top of your foot. Yogi's choice. Bring your hands right to your right thigh and engage your belly muscles here, please. And here, interlace the fingertips and go up. And again, we've already cleared and cleaned our negative thoughts. So we're going to plan and plant. So plant that right foot and plant that left knee. Plant, firmly plant, root to rebound. In yoga, that's a common saying, root to rebound. So the stronger you root, you, anything touching the earth, the more you rebound higher. So reach those fingertips really high up. And you can have your hands any way you want. You can interlace your thumbs. You can have your hands in shoulder width apart. Always honor yourself, please. And then go ahead and bring your hands in prayer. Planting and planting your right foot and your left knee, please. And then we're going to go ahead and bring our hands down to the right foot and straighten the back leg like we're running a race. Some of my clients need blocks here. And I'll have my, one, one of my clients has blocks on both sides. And go ahead and lengthen your heart, please. Again, plan and plant. Plan and plant your right foot. Plan and plant your left toes. And then we're going to go ahead and bring the right hand up and do a little bit of a twist and look up at your thumb. And all twists clear and cleanse. So we're going back to clearing and cleansing our negative thoughts. Clearing and cleansing any worries, any fears. Clearing and cleansing. Erasing and replacing. Go ahead and bring that hand back down, please. Drop your left knee down. And go ahead and come into child's pose and rest. And stretch your arms forward, please. And plan and plant your knees. Plan and plant your hands. Focus on just going back to your breath. Inhaling peace. And exhaling stress. Inhaling love. Exhaling worry. Come onto your hands and knees, please. And downward dog. You can choose to come onto your tippy toes if you want and really lift your heels up in your sitting bones. Or you can go ahead and just ground your heels. Some of my clients bend their knees a little to lift their sitting bones up higher to the, away from the wrists. So always honor yourself. If you need to bend your knees, feel free to do so. But preferably, I'd like your knees straight because that'll really help your knees. Lift those kneecaps as you plan and plant your right foot and your left foot. Plan and plant your right hand and your left hand. Plan and plant. Plan and plant. Ground your right, right thumb, your left thumb. Ground all of your fingers. Ground your big toes. Bring the front of the thigh into the back of the thigh so your spine gets longer. Try not to dump down into your shoulders. Please reach out of your shoulders. We're here to create space. Spread those fingers, space between the fingers, space in the shoulders as you push the front of the thigh into the back of the thigh, getting space between each individual vertebrae, relaxing your neck, creating space in that neck, please. Go ahead and drop your knees down and step your left foot forward, please, and bring your hands to your left thigh. And remember, plan and plant. So go ahead and plant that left foot and that right knee. Engage your belly muscles. That's called Uddiyana Bandha in yoga. And then we'll go ahead and interlace the fingertips up. And you can choose to stretch those wrists if you like, or even interlace the thumbs, yogi's choice. But plan and plant your left, left foot firmly. 
plan and plant your right knee, please. And go ahead and bring your belly in and up, please. Lift the heart. Spread those fingers, long inhalations and long exhalations. And go ahead and bring your hands to your heart. Bring your hands to your left foot, please. And straighten your back leg. And look straight ahead, stretch your spine forward. We want a lot of space, a lot of space in the spine. So stretch your heart forward as you bring your right heel back. And then go ahead and plant that right hand onto the floor and your left hand goes up. And if you need a block, feel free to always honor your body and use a block. And going back to planting and planting whatever's touching the earth. Remember, we're reaping and repeating today, so you want to go back to the foundations, the foundation of yoga, which are back to the basics. Long inhalations and long exhalations in the drishti. The gaze is at your thumb. Really nice. Bring that hand back down to your left foot. Gently drop that back knee down and come into child's pose, please. Stretch your arms forward. Going back to the basics, reaping and repeating what works for you. I love Zig Ziglar's, Zig Ziglar's quote, which is, repetition is the mother of genius. Repetition is the mother of genius. So go back to repeating all the things that create good thoughts and good feelings and good choices in your life. Eating healthy food, taking beautiful daily walks, looking at things not made by human hands, a wave, a flower, a cloud, a bird. Just look at something not made by human hands. Reap and repeat what makes you feel good. Make a list and put them on your refrigerator because good thoughts go into good feelings. Good feelings go into good actions and good actions go into great results. Come onto your hands and knees, please. And another downward dog. Come into downward dog. Working those thighs back, please. Sparkle and spread those fingers. Really ground your thumb and index finger into the earth, please. A lot of us roll out onto our pinkies. Really ground your thumb and index finger into the earth. And Ray, I love how you're on your tippy toes. Some of my clients like to even bicycle out their legs so you can put a little bend in your right knee and then your left knee and just alternate and just play. Play in this pose and do what feels good. And then go ahead and reach those thighs back if you can do that away from your wrists. Beautiful, long inhalations and long exhalations. Breathing deeply, long inhalations and long exhalations. Breathing deeply and gently come down onto your knees please. Really nice. And then bring your right leg forward. And then bring your hands onto your thigh. And go ahead and interlace the thumbs and reach up. Or you can interlace your fingertips. It's up to you. Whatever feels good for you. Long inhalations and long exhalations. And then hands at your heart, please. Bring your left elbow onto your right thigh and twist. And breathe long inhalations and long exhalations and twisting always clears and cleans your liver your kidneys your spleen and if you want to lift your back leg go ahead and feel free to do so you can try to straighten that back leg it takes a little bit of a balance here to do so and if that's complicated or difficult always honor your body please and then go ahead and drop that left knee down and twist a little deeper Twist a little deeper. Beautiful work. And then go ahead and bring your hands down to your right foot and come back into child's pose, please. And stretch your arms forward. Beautiful. Come onto your hands and knees. And go ahead and bring your left foot forward, please. Bring your hands to your front thigh. And go ahead and interlace the thumbs or yogi's choice. Reach up to open up your armpit region. Again, plan and plant your left foot and your right knee. Breathing deeply, planning and planting. And remember to always focus on the solution rather than the problem. Remember what you focus on grows. So if you focus on the negative, that grows. 
And if you focus on the positive, that grows. Hands at your heart, please. Bring your right elbow onto your left thigh and twist. Cleansing out the liver, the kidneys, and the spleen. Breathing deeply, long inhalations and long exhalations. If you're really planning and planting your left foot and you feel comfortable here, you can straighten your back leg if that feels comfortable for you. It's a tricky balancing pose. Breathing deeply, long inhalations and long exhalations. Gently drop that back knee down. Bring your hands back to your left foot and come into child's pose. And stretch your arms. Relax your forehead on the ground. Really nice work, guys. Come onto your hands and knees and downward dog. Come into downward dog, please. And go ahead and walk your hands towards your feet. And grab your elbows and dangle. And just put, if you need to put a little bend in your knees, honor your body. Put a little bend in your knees if you need to. And just let your spine dangle. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Finding symmetry between your right and left leg and your right and left foot. See if there's more weight in your right foot or more weight in your left foot. And see if there's more weight in your heel or your toes. Find symmetry. In yoga, we call that samasthiti, he, which means sameness between the right leg and the left leg. So we want symmetry. Symmetry and equanimity. Yoga is supposed to stop the fluctuations of the mind and create equanimity and peace. Go ahead and clasp your hands behind your tailbone, please. And go ahead and drop your hands towards the floor to open up and open up the shoulder and relax. When the head is below the heart, it ceases mental chatter. It calms you down. So just let your head just release down and let go. And returning back to your inhales and back to your exhales. And then we'll go into a chair pose. Bend your knees, please. And go ahead and reach your arms forward. Spread your fingers wide. And then you can bring your arms a little bit behind your ears. Bend your knees, spread those toes. Beautiful. And then go ahead and bring your hands to your heart. Straighten your legs and come on up to the top of the mat. Big toes together, please. And go ahead and spread your toes. Lift your kneecaps. This is called mountain pose. So we're gonna, we've are gonna. we already cleared and cleaned our negative thoughts, planting and planting our feet into the earth. Lift your kneecaps. Belly button into the spine. Lift your heart. Lift your crown. So the front of the body lifts and the back of the body drops. And go ahead and sweep your arms up. Look up. Look up at your thumbs. And we're going back to basics. Reap and repeat what works for you. Reap and repeat what works for you. And for me, yoga works. Get on your mat three times a week if you can, just for 20 minutes to a half an hour. Go ahead and bring your hands down to your toes, please. If you need to bend your knees, go ahead and bend your knees. And then bring your hands to your shins and calves and stretch your heart forward. Flat back, please. Look up. Go ahead and spread your toes. Lift your kneecaps. And then go ahead and bend your knees and step your left foot back into a lunge. And look straight ahead. And go ahead and bring your right hand up. Look up. And then go ahead and bring that hand back down. Ground your back heel for warrior one. So heel to heel. Ground your back heel. Hands to your hips, please. Bend your right knee. Bring your left arm forward to square your hips. And then we're going to go ahead and interlace the thumbs and reach the arms up. Make sure you look at your knee and make sure it's right over your ankle. Bend a little deeper. Lift your back ribs and your side ribs. Ground. Plant and plant your right foot and your left foot. Bring your belly button into your spine. Lift your heart and breathe. Nice, really nice. Breathe deeply. Hands at your heart, please. And go right into plank. Bring your hands to your right foot. Step right into plank. Hold plank position, please. And then slowly come onto your belly. And just lift, clasp your hands behind your back. And bring your fingertips away from your buttocks and lift your legs. 
really nice. Breathing deeply. Hands underneath your shoulders for a little bit of an upward cobra, please. And child's pose. Really nice. Come onto your hands and knees and bring your left foot forward. Straighten your back leg. Look straight ahead. Breathing deeply. Long inhalations and long exhalations, ujjayi breath. Really nice, ground your back heel. Hands to your hips. Bring your right arm forward to square the hips. And then go ahead and interlace the thumbs and go up. Plan and plant, ground your left foot. Ground your right foot. And really just breathe. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Just witness and watch. You've already planted good seeds in your garden. Good, good thoughts. Every thought is a prayer. Every thought is a prayer. So go ahead and when you plant good thoughts, use your imagination and imagine the best. Use your imagination and imagine the best. Hands in prayer. Go right to plank. Hold plank position, please. And engage your belly muscles. And find symmetry between your right hand and your left hand. Find symmetry between your right foot and your left foot. And then come on down onto your belly and do a little bit of a cobra here. Look up and come right into child's pose, please. So we've cleared and cleaned our negative thoughts. We planted and planted what we do want. And now witness and watch. And just wait for your miracles to unfold. And then go back to reaping and repeating. We just don't clean our dishes just once. We have to go back to cleaning our dishes or going down in the basement and cleaning, cleaning the cobwebs. So just like that, we have to clean the cobwebs of our mind and going back to our clearing and cleaning our negative thoughts and going back and planning and planting what we do want. Come on to your knees, please, for camel pose. So from here, just take your hand, come on to your knees, hands onto your buttocks, and let's open up our hearts and look back. Look back. Buttocks flush towards the knees and look back. And if you're comfortable and can grab your heels, do so. Lift your heart. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Come back into child's pose, please. And rest. Relax your forehead. Remember, witnessing and watching is about resting and watching, just gently watch the beautiful rosebud bloom on its own. You can't force petals to open, you'll destroy the rose. It takes patience. Stretch your arms forward. Stretch your arms forward, please come onto your hands and knees. Hands onto your buttocks, please. And then again, go ahead and grab the heels and lift your heart and go back. and child's pose, and rest. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Beautiful. Stretch your arms forward, please. Come onto your hands and knees, and then go ahead and have your legs come straight out in front of you, please. Plan and plant your legs. Interlace the thumbs. Reach up, please. Reach up and go ahead and grab your feet. And if you need a belt, feel free to use a belt and come on down for a forward bend. Go back to your breath. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Going back to your breath. Come on up, please. And go ahead and bring your right foot over your left and go ahead and give your knee a big hug and get really tall. And go ahead and bring your right hand behind you and twist. So go back to doing what works for you. Go back to doing the basics. Going for walks, meditating, 
eating fresh food, usually in their purest form, vegetables and fruit, eating, in, eating pure thoughts, pure food, pure actions, and go ahead and release, straighten that leg and hug the left leg, please. Reap and repeat what works for you. Do yoga every day or at least three times a week and go ahead and twist. Immerse yourself in good thoughts. Keep good company. Eat great food. And try to simplify. Less is more. Come back to center, please. And go ahead and straighten that leg. Reach up. And remember, wherever you, wh whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you focus on grows. Come back up for butterfly, Baddha Konasana. Bring your hands behind your buttocks. And then go ahead and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And remember, good thoughts go into great feelings. Great feelings go into wonderful actions. And wonderful actions go into great results. And then go ahead and straighten your legs out and lie down for Shavasana, please. Go ahead and rest, lying down, and let go. Really nice work, Rebecca. Really nice work, Ray. Very nice. Go ahead and let your gaze, your eyes towards your heart, and rest and let go. And just remember to please meditate daily, consciously paying attention to your thoughts knowing that great thoughts go into great results. And just let go. Spend time. Take time every day. Remember, if you rest, you rust. Take a couple, just three times a week, half an hour, three times a week. Get on the floor and take care of yourself. Remember one of my favorite sayings, if you can't find a temple in your heart, then you can't find your heart in a temple. Treat your body like a temple. Focus on good thoughts and good feelings and good actions and great results. Focus on the good. Focus on what's going right rather than what's going wrong. Focus on wellness rather than illness. And remember to always put the oxygen mask on yourself first and give from a full place. Put an oxygen mask on yourself first because if you're filled up, you can spill that over onto other people around you. But come from a full, full place. Come from a full place. Remember, like Zig Ziglar said, repetition is the mother of genius. Clear and clean your negative thoughts every day. Plan and plant what you do want as if it's already happened. Write a gratitude list every day what you're grateful for, even if it hasn't shown up yet. You're planting seeds in your garden. Do yoga every day and immerse yourself in great thoughts. Go back to the basics and do what's good for you. Keep great company. Go where the love is. Eat good foods while thinking great thoughts. Wake up every morning as if your prayers have already been answered. Go into better thoughts, better feelings, better choices, and better behaviors. And ask yourself every morning, how can I become the best version of me today? How can I be the best mother, the best friend, the best client, the best worker, whatever? How can I be the best version of myself today? And bless everyone and everything in your life. And remember to reap and repeat. Reap and repeat every day. Planning and planting. Clearing and cleaning. Witnessing and watching and reaping and repeating. And I want to thank you so much for joining me. Fitness is not just physical. It's mind and body. I'm Susan Foxley. And you can read my blogs and learn more about my workshops, books, and life coaching at SusanFoxley.com or connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. See you next time. And one more thing, always, always, always go where the love is. Namaste.